Hello everyone, this is Vinita and welcome to Hopeful Turns. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial of this crochet amigurumi octopus. So this video I hope will be useful for anyone who wants to start exploring the world of amigurumi. So this is like the amigurumi for beginners kind of a video and this is a great pattern to start with. It's very simple, very easy and it's a no sew pattern. So it is going to be a really fun project to do. Uh, now this is going to be a very slow video because it's intended for the beginners. So if you find it too slow, there will be like three dots on the right hand side of your screen. You can press that. There is a playback speed option. So you can either go fast or slow according to your liking. All right. So let's see the uh, materials that you would require. So here I'm going to use a DK weight cotton yarn. You can use acrylic cotton, whatever you have at hand. Uh, the only thing that you have to take care is whenever you use the hook, use one or two hook sizes down that the recommended hook size. So this uh, yarn calls for four to five mm crochet hook, but I'm going to use a three mm crochet hook. Uh, the purpose of using a smaller hook is to have tighter stitches so that the stuffing that you have put inside doesn't show off or doesn't show out or it comes out. So that is why you want really tight stitches when you do amigurumi. So use a hook size that is one or two hook sizes smaller than the recommended hook size. I prefer cotton for my amigurumi because I find that it gives much better stitch definitions than the acrylic so that's why I prefer cotton but you can definitely make this with acrylic okay. Now apart from this you would require a pair of scissors and a yarn needle. Definitely you would also require one stitch marker. Now if you do not have this kind of a stitch marker you can replace this with a bobby pin or maybe a safety pin or any other colored yarn. You just have to mark your stitches which is quite important in this one. Now since you are a beginner you may or may not be having a uh, fiber fill. So I have used fiber fill for the stuffing part but if you do not have this fiber fill this is the polyester fiber fill that you put for the amigurumis. If you do not have this you can replace it by using some scrap yarns. So if you have some scrap yarns flying around or if you have some yarns that you totally hate you can use that as stuffing okay or one more thing that you can do is you can cut some old t-shirt into small tiny uh, strips and use that as well for your stuffing part if you do not have this one now for the eyes if you want the best would be to use this kind of safety eyes it comes with a washer now, if you use this it will give very clean and professional kind of a look but if you do not have this no problem we will be using some black color yarn to make the eyes so I'm going to use black color yarn to make the eyes and the mouth uh, but if you have the safety eyes use a 4 mm safety eyes for the eyes part it will come out really nice or you can use some black beads so that will also work so these are all the supplies that you would require now if you're ready we can start but before that a small request now, if you like what you see in the video please do not forget to press on the like button and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing so let's just start so we'll start this by making a magic circle first so to make a magic circle you take your yarn and then loop it around your finger like an x once you have that you take your hook pass your hook through the loop that is there on your fingers and pull your working yarn through that loop so this here is your magic circle and once you have that you make a chain stitch in order to lock your magic circle. So this is how you do a magic circle. I'll show you once again. I do have a detailed tutorial how to do the magic circle. So if you click on the I button that is popping up you can find the detailed tutorial. Anyway we'll see once again how to do the magic circle. So take your yarn and loop it around your finger like an X. Take your hook. Pass your hook through the loop that is there on your finger and pull your working yarn through that loop. So this here is your magic circle and you make one chain stitch to lock your magic circle. Okay, so here we have got a magic circle and a chain one. Now we'll start our round one. So for round one you have to put six single crochet into the magic circle. So we'll be doing that. So into your magic circle make six single crochet. This is one again go back 
and make the second one so like this you have to make a total of six single crochet so this is three four five and I'll make one last so that will make it to six okay I've just fumbled here so I have got four so this is my fifth single crochet I'll make one more six so here I have got six single crochet in the magic circle now you can just pull on this don't close it completely otherwise it is it will be very tight to work in round one but just close it so this is round one we will move on to round two and in amigurumis when you do the patterns it is done in continuous rounds you don't slip stitch you don't have a seam so you'll be working in continuous round so the next round will start on top of the first stitch of the previous round so we'll be working in the first stitch not your chain one but the first stitch of round one we will go there and put two single crochet so round two is an increase round that is we are going to put two single crochet in every stitch so this here is my very first stitch of the previous round i'll go there on top of it and make two single crochet this is one and into the very same stitch i'll make another single crochet so in the same stitch i'm going and making another so I have two single crochet going in the same stitch now at this time it will be a great idea to start marking your stitches otherwise you'll just get confused I like to mark the first stitch of every round if you want you can mark the last stitch of your previous round so anything is fine I just prefer it this way okay now come to the next stitch and again put two single crochet so this is my next stitch I'll go there and put two single crochet one and two come to your next stitch again make two single crochet like this in every stitch make two single crochet and when you finish your round two you'll have a total of 12 single crochet so make two single crochet in every stitch around so here i have placed two single crochet in every stitch i have reached my stitch marker i'll remove this so this finishes our round two if you are a beginner it would be a great idea if you just count the number of stitches and make sure you have 12 single crochet we'll start round three and the round three will go on top of the first stitch of round two now the pattern for round three is you have to make one single crochet and then an increase so we'll do that so into your very first stitch just go there and make only one single crochet all right into the next stitch you have to make an increase that is you have to place two single crochet in the second stitch so this is my second stitch this is an increase stitch so i'm going to place two single crochet one and into the same stitch i'll go and make another one so one two one two is the pattern for this round i'll just mark my stitch so this is one and then two stitches i have already put i mark my first stitch here and then I'll continue with the pattern I'll make one single crochet in the next stitch so one second so these this will be a little bit tight because the stitches are really small you are using a much smaller hook so here I make I've made one single crochet and in the next stitch I'm going to place two single crochet so into the stitch I'm going to make two single crochet one and in the same stitch I'll make another one so continue making this pattern making one single crochet and then an increase and once you finish this round you will have a total of 18 single crochet so I'll finish this round and meet you at the end of this round so here I'm at the end of my round three I have made one single crochet and an increase and I have a total of 18 single crochet so just count your number of stitches so I have reached my stitch marker here and I'll remove this here at this point if you want you can tightly close off your magic circle okay we will start the next round so the pattern for your round four is you make two single crochet and then an increase so into my first stitch I'll go 
I'll make an increase sorry I'll make a single crochet sorry one single crochet and into the next stitch also I'm going to put just one single crochet so here the pattern is one single crochet one single crochet and an increase I'll just mark my stitch so this here is my first stitch one single crochet one single crochet and into the next stitch you have to make an increase so you put two single crochet in the same stitch so increase is nothing but two single crochet going in the same stitch so this is the pattern you make two single crochet and then an increase so complete this pattern making one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase so here is my first single crochet in the next stitch also I'm going to place just one single crochet and in the next stitch I'll make an increase or I'll make two single crochet into the same stitch and when you finish your round four you should have a total of 24 single crochet so complete your pattern and I'll meet you at the end of this round so here I'm at the end of my round four and I have 24 single crochet you should be always finishing that round with an increase so it will be two single crochet in the very last stitch so that completes our round four we will start our round five now from round 5 onwards there are no more increases you just have to place one single crochet in each of these stitches so just go into the first stitch and make a single crochet go to the next stitch again make a single crochet like this in every stitch you have to place just one single crochet there are no more increases just place one single crochet and once you finish your round 5 you will have a total of 24 single crochet so complete your round five making one single crochet in every stitch around so here i have finished my row five and if you see it has started to curl up a little so you can just flip your work like this okay and we'll start our row six now row six row seven row eight are exactly same as we did our row five we are just going to place one single crochet in every stitch and in all the three rows next three rows you will have a total of 24 single crochets so just make one single crochet in every stitch do not forget your stitch marker otherwise it will be kind of a mess so place your stitch marker and complete three more rows making one single crochet in every stitch around and every stitch uh, sorry every row should have a total of 24 single crochet so i'll meet you at the end of row eight so I'm just placing one single crochet in every stitch all right so here I'm at the end of my round eight and this has a total of 24 single crochet we will start the ninth round so the ninth round is going to be a decrease round so what we do is we will make a single crochet single crochet and then a decrease so we'll do that so this is going to be one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch so we have we'll put two single crochets I just mark my stitch before moving so here we have put one single crochet in each of the stitches and then we will make a decrease so we are going to make a single crochet decrease so we are going to use two stitches to make a decrease so this is how you do the single crochet decrease you insert your hook into the one stitch pull up a loop you are not going to finish uh, the single crochet instead you will insert the hook into the next stitch and then pull up a loop you will have three loops now you yarn over and pull your working yarn through all the three loops so this will make your single crochet decrease i'll show you again so single crochet single crochet then a decrease so that's what we are going to do in the next stitch you make a normal single crochet so this is one single crochet again make another single crochet so we have made two single crochets and then we are going to make decrease so we are going to use the next two stitches to make the decrease so we'll do that so insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop you do not finish your single crochet instead you insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this will make a single crochet decrease we'll do that again so once decrease is made you make 
single crochet in one stitch another normal single crochet so here we have got two single crochet and then we will make a decrease so we are going to make a single crochet decrease so insert your hook pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull through all the three loops so continue making this pattern making single crochet single crochet and then a decrease so i'll meet you at the end of this round and once you finish this round you will have a total of 18 single crochets i'm at the end of my round 9 and i have a total of 18 single crochet now for the eyes if you're going to use the safety eyes or your black beads it's a good time to put them in so what you can do is you can put your safety eyes between the 6th and the 7th round. So this is 9th, 8th, 7th. So between your 6th and 7th you can place one safety eye. Then skip 5 stitches and put the next one. Okay, so you can place the safety eyes at this time. I'm just going to use a black color yarn to make the eyes. So I'm just moving ahead. So once you put your safety eyes we will move on to the next round. And the next round is going to be a plain simple round that is we're just going to place one single crochet in every stitch but we'll be placing it only in the back loops so i'll show you so this was my first stitch i'll take it off so we'll start our round 10 we are just going to make one single crochet in each of the stitches but we are going to place it in the back loop so if you see there is a v stitch there is a front loop and there is a back loop i'm going to go into the back loop just one loop i'm going to take so if you see there is a V, this here is the front loop and this is the back loop. So insert your hook into the back loop only and make a normal single crochet like this. Come to your next stitch. So this here is your next stitch. You have front loop, you have back loop. I'm just going to make a single crochet into the back loop. So like this in every stitch around just place one single crochet working only in the back loop so I'll make one single crochet in each of the stitches using only the back loops and once you finish this round you will again have a total of 18 single crochet to so complete this round and I'll join you at the end of this round so here I have finished my round 10 and I have a total of 18 single crochet all worked in the back loops and if you see there is a small line going around so this is like the front loop we will come to it later okay so that finishes your round 10. Now it's a good time to start filling in your stuffing. So you can put the stuffing. You don't have to fill it in completely. After the next round you can completely fill this in. But just add a little bit of stuffing. Okay. And then we will move on to the next round. Okay. So for the next round this is going to be a decrease round. So round 11 is going to be a decrease round. You will make one single crochet and then a decrease. So we'll start. So this is my first stitch. I'll go there and make a normal single crochet. Into the next stitch I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm going to use two stitches to do the decrease. So insert your hook into the one stitch. Pull up a loop insert your hook into the next stitch and then pull up a loop you have three loops yarn over and pull your yarn through all the three loops so this will create the single crochet decrease stitch mark your stitch do not forget that okay so just complete doing this pattern you have to make one single crochet and then a decrease so here i'm going to make a normal single crochet and into the next stitch i'm going to do a decrease so use two stitches to do the decrease. I'm going to go in the next stitch here and then pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through all the three. So continue making this pattern, making one single crochet and one single crochet decrease. And once you finish this, you'll have a total of 12 single crochet. So I'll meet you at the end of this round. So here I have finished my round 11 and I have a total of 12 single crochet now. Now if you want, you can Put some more stuffing if you feel the need for it so I'll just add a little bit more stuffing don't over stuff it just make sure that it is nice and round and put a little bit more and that will be it we are trying to close there is just one last round 
So the last round you have 12 single crochet and what we are going to do is we are going to decrease in every stitch. So we are going to use 2 stitches to make the decrease. So 12 single crochet will be reduced to 6 single crochet. So I am making the first decrease here. This is 1. Like that I am going to use 2 stitches to make the decrease and I end up with a total of 6 decreases. So this is 1, 2. I will make my third decrease here. So just make the decrease as we had done earlier. Use 2 stitches to make the decrease. So this is 3. This might get a little bit tighter because we are in the final round. Space is very limited. So here is my fourth decrease. One more. Five. So use two stitches. Insert your hook. Pull up a loop. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Pull up a loop. Pull through all the three. And we have one last decrease to make. So make your last decrease. So you should be ending up with a total of 6 single crochet at this round. So this is my final decrease here. I am going to cut my yarn. I am going to cut it a little bit longer so as to close this off. So you can cut it. Alright and then we will use a darning needle to finish off this gap here. So here I have attached a darning needle. Now what we will do is we will close up this small gap that is there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work in the front loops only. So there is a front loop, there is a back loop. I'll be working only in the front loop. So what I'll do is I will go from the center and go only through the front loop. I'll take my needle from there. Come to the next front loop and take my needle out. Don't pull it tight. Just go very smoothly without pulling. So go through all the stitches just the front loop this here is the front loop and one more okay so we have gone around and now at this point you can just tightly pull this nice and tight so you can see that it has closed you just have to pull it nice nice tightly on it okay and once this is done i'll just make a small knot so i'll go again down into one of the stitches like this and make a knot pull this out like this okay so this is hidden I'll go inside the very center and take my needle out from the other end okay I have just missed this part so I'll do that and at this point you can cut your yarn I think I have split my yarn here I'll take this and push it through this end like this and you can cut your yarn off. You can see there are no gaps. It is completely flat. You can cut your yarn at this point. Alright, so our ball part or the head part is done. Now we have to work on the tentacles. So we'll start working on the tentacles. So for that I have taken the same yarn. I have made a slip knot here and I'm going to attach this to the front loop. So if you remember we had worked in the back loops in row 10. So we have a front loop remaining this one. So after that you have to just press it so that this lies flat and your you can easily find your front loop. So I'm going to go in any one of the front loops here and I'll attach this with a slip knot. So I'll just go there in any of the stitches here and I'm going to attach this with a slip knot. Okay. Now we'll start the tentacles. You have to make eight and all of it is made the same way. You'll make seven chain stitch first. So make ch seven chain stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So here I've got my seven chain stitch. I'll skip the first stitch and into the second stitch I'll make two single crochet. So into the second stitch make two single crochet one and two. Into the next two stitches also work two single crochet each. So in this stitch again I'm going to make two single crochet one. I'll make another one two. Into the next stitch third stitch also I'm making two single crochet. 
so in the first three stitches I have made two single crochet each after skipping the very first stitch you have the next three stitches there I have made two single crochets each you have three stitches remaining in the next three stitches in every stitch make two half double crochet so for half double crochet yarn over first insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all the three loops so this is the first half double crochet I'll go in the same stitch make one more half double crochet like this come to the next stitch again put two half double crochet so this is one and into the same one another one so this is my second half double crochet I have the very last stitch left so there again I'm going to make two half double crochet so in the first three stitches make two single crochet each and in the last three stitches make two half double crochet each once you are done go to the next uh, front loop so if you see here this is the stitch where we had chain seven into the next stitch go and make a normal slip stitch so i'll make a slip stitch in the next stitch and make a slip stitch in the next stitch also also so here i've made two slip stitches once you make the second slip stitch make again seven chain stitch so this is the slip second slip stitch there i'm going to make seven chain stitch one two three four five six and seven and i'm going to do the exact same thing as i have done for this tentacle i'm going to skip one stitch and into the next stitch i'll put two single crochet one and two in the next two stitches also i'm going to pay, put two single crochet and in the last three stitches i'll put three half double crochet when i finish that i will make a slip stitch in the next stitch and a slip stitch into the next stitch and again make the tentacle like that you make four tentacles and i'll show you a small difference and after that we'll continue so make four tentacles just like this one once a tentacle is made you have to make two slip stitches and then make a tentacle making seven chain stitch and the pattern so i'll meet you after making four tentacles here i have completed my four tentacles so this was my fourth one here and instead of doing only two slip stitches after making four tentacles you have to make three slip stitches so this was my last two half double crochet i will slip stitch into the next three stitches not two stitches but three stitches so this is my first slip stitch i'll go and make a slip stitch into the next stitch so this is my second slip stitch and one more slip stitch so this is my third slip stitch and here when i have my third slip stitch at this point i'll again make seven chain stitch one two three four five six and seven and then continue the same pattern after this it's going to be just two slip stitches chain seven a tentacle two slip stitches chain seven and a tentacle so you can continue this pattern and when you reach the very end you might have three slip stitch so slip stitch into the last three and finish off this work now if you see some tentacles are curling some are not so what you can do is you just twist this very nicely and it will stay in place so if you want as a loose tentacles you can use like that or if you want tighter you just have to roll and push it in so that it will stay in place so i'll complete my eight uh, tentacles and meet you and then we will work on the ice so here i have finished all my eight tentacles so this was my last tentacle here if you see we have two stitches left at the very end so in both the two stitches i'm going to work a slip stitch so i'll work a slip stitch in the two stitches so these are my two slip stitches and make one last slip stitch into the first tentacle so where the first tentacle is going just go there and place your third slip stitch and at this point you can finish off this work so i'm just going to cut my yarn here so that finishes off this octopus all right so this is done now you all you need is to hide in the tail so for that i'm going to take my darning needle and i'll just weave this in first okay. 
and what you do is you just go in to one of the stitches and come out from here and then go back inside and come out of any of the stitches from the head part so this is how you can hide in the loose ends that are remaining so here I have hidden in all the loose ends and now we work on the eyes so I've just marked where I want my eyes to be placed so what I have done is I have counted six stitches six rows from the top so one two three four five six and between the sixth and seven I have marked one point I have skipped five stitches and marked another point so this is where my uh, eyes are going to be so what I'll do is I have taken a black color yarn here I'm going to go from the very top from here I'm going to insert my needle and come to the place where I have marked my stitch so I'm going to come to that point so this is where I want my eyes to be so just pull up this one all right and from here I'm going to make an ice so I'll just go back and forth a few times for the eyes so it will not be as uh, good looking as your safety eyes so that will just create a very professional and very beautiful looking eyes this is just what we are going to work with the yarn that we have at hand all right so go two to three times or as many times as you feel comfortable i think i'll go one more time and with that this eyes is done okay so the one eye is taken care of and okay I'll go from here and go to the next point where I have marked so here and then again I'll go back and forth till I have my second eyes so I'll go three times here again go one more time and then what I'll do is I will go and make a mouth for it so I'm going to make a mouth like this this is the V that I'll be making so I'll first go to the center point here all right so this is where I'll place my mouth so it is going to be like a V I'll go like this and come back to that particular point again and I'll pull my hook out sorry needle out at this point so that will complete your eyes and the mouth now all you have to do is you just knot this down and hide in again so I'll just knot it you can put one or two or as many knots as you want I'll go back in and come back out from any one of the point here okay and like that I this uh, go through this point and go back to any one of the point and cut the yarn out so I'll just cut this yarn out similarly I will hide this in and then push it inside so here I have hidden in the other end also just like we did for the first one and our octopus is done. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed making this amigurumi. Now if you liked it please do not forget to press on the like button and if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing. If you are looking for other very easy to do amigurumi projects I do have a few on my channel. I will put a playlist in the description box you can check that out. So that was all for the tutorial. See you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you.